Hey T3 lovers, let's talk about the difference between a T3 turbine housing and a V-band housing. And the reason I want to talk about this is because we're getting guys who have T3 turbochargers who think in order to get more power they need to get a V-band T3 turbine housing. And that's not true as of today. Okay, so let's take a look at the T3 V-band housing, and let's look at the square area of this versus the square area of a T3 4-bolt. As you can see, the T3 housing looks a lot bigger, and actually it is. It's more than 10% volume inlet to the turbine housing, and that is significant to your needs. For example, in the past, we, we had two good choices for turbine housing ARs on the T3. There is a 6.3 housing like this, only ours is stainless, and the 82 housing, which would be this one in stainless. And now we developed a 110 AR turbine housing for the maximum power. Over a thousand horsepower now available in a T3 110 AR turbine housing. So imagine if you're running an old legacy iron T3 82 housing that's kind of stuck around the 800 horsepower level. Really heavy, the inside is kind of rough. Great housing for the day, don't get me wrong, but let's move to what's available today. Okay, so here's the 82 housing available today. You notice that it's super lightweight. It only weighs about three and a half or four pounds versus like seven or eight. The internal the loot is extremely smooth, which helps aerodynamics and spool up. And now again, we actually have the 110 turbine housing that'll support a 70 millimeter turbine wheel. That 70 millimeter turbine wheel on your car is gonna, with a, either a 68 millimeter inducer or a 71 millimeter inducer turbocharger, is gonna support well over a thousand horsepower. That's a big jump. Another improvement that we made when you take a look at the amount of material that's showing around this gasket, because you know, in racing we do a lot of gasket matching, you can see how much material is left on the table. We'll take a look at what this looks like. That's the cool thing in about a stainless steel investment casting, is you can get things within thousandths of an inch and we can do a great gasket match. While the turbine housing might cost a lot more money, the benefits are well worth it. The whole purpose of this video is to let you know that you have options. You can get 1100 horsepower out of that T3 flange. We're gonna offer a 71 millimeter, 70 turbine that'll definitely meet 1100 horsepower requirements. 